grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Co. The Tarot. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you for your emails, your donations. I appreciate them all. If you are a new face, welcome in my lovelies. And if you're an old one, welcome back. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit crackly. I do have a bit of a cold at the moment. So I may be coughing and spluttering. Um, but I will definitely get through this. I hope everyone is having an awesome, awesome day. Um, now, when I asked what it was that I should be looking at, I was told dream state and invaders. There's someone trying to invade someone's dream state, okay? Now, let's find out oh, why. Let me see. Now, please remember there is someone going through the comment section pretend, pretending, ugh, pretending to be moi okay if they say whatsapp me or you know donate to this orphanage it's not me don't get scammed okay please just block them for me now you have on here life force energy and then you have the sound of the universe someone's trying to block a light one or a tapped in one you or the person you're thinking of okay from connecting with the oneness of all through of your light team also there's something going on here the thing is, though, with this sound of the universe upside down, they may have tried, but they got blocked because of your life force energy. Because when you actually look at this card, okay, and what is around this being, she is completely and utterly protected. You even look at these animals, they can't get close to her. And she is in still waters. She's too emotionally balanced, okay? But this is also telling you that there's a lot of animal energy a lot of animal energy around this light one and i'm getting sacred ge geometry from here so someone might actually use triantra or should look into that you've also got new blue oh there you go you've got new blueprints and you've also got communication co-creation someone here i heard is jealous and does not want a light one to know what their new blueprint is or for it to come in and with this co communication co-creation they're hoping that a light one will start um, becoming stressed or disorientated or confused in what it is that they should actually be doing and it's not just what they should be doing but it's how they speak their reality their their existence into reality because everything that we think and feel we bring into reality okay so that's quite interesting now can i get some zodiacs for this please and thank you what zodiacs are we working with crown chakra this person's crown chakra is too lit up okay it's way too lit up and it's also this is the energy of i know that you know that i know okay whoever it is that's doing this thought they were doing it on the sly they don't want to be seen because i'm seeing someone saying don't look at me because you've got earth star chakra and you've got ethers okay you have a light one who is extremely tapped in not only through their crown chakra but the but with their lower chakras all the way underneath their feet. They are completely tapped in. Because I heard murky sight. And I'm seeing someone like holding a crystal ball, but it's got smoke rolling through it. Now, in one of my previous readings, it talks about like a tobacco hex or something like smoke and mirrors. This is what they've been trying to do. Because you've got round bridger. Someone may have been doing some serious root work, some serious root work. Um, now, please please pay attention to your body okay and look how fast that fell out the bottom okay they've been doing some really strong root work or trying and there's something here about repeating it over and over over like a specific amount of days but please pay attention to your bodies especially if this resonates you know do your knees hurt do your ankles hurt do your toes hurt does your back hurt it's not so much the, the upper um, part of the body it's the lower how do you feel and what is it that you do or say or, or envision that clears that because whatever it is that you're doing keep doing it because you know you are very very tapped in through your crown and you're very very tapped in through your earth star chakra okay because i had kundalini awakening because you've also got here or ancient future and surrender someone here also has been pulling cards they've been pulling cards on the light one and they can't they won't give up the ghost that they can't change the fate or destiny of this person that i keep hearing the word ambivalent but they're almost like a dog that can't scratch an itch 
they just can't give up they won't give up that bone and they and the thing is as well is that with that ancient future our ancient future they've read and reread and reread hoping that they will be able to block this light one in some way in some way and it's also to do with like dna upgrades and how this light one connects not only to their light team but to their elevated star seed family members okay you've also got someone here and this is a lot of water energy i'm looking at pisces and i'm looking at Aqu um, i was going to say aquarius but i'm looking at um pisces scorpio and cancer mainly okay I'll pop this over here so something's, something's just popped up on my laptop one sec there we go and let me see what's in the middle third and feathered friends okay someone's light team member is an animal okay this could be a deity this could be a passed over pet or this could be an energy totem but there's something here with communication coming through or them trying to block this communication with this deity with this light team member or with this totem because there's quite important information about some sort of activation or something's going to happen and i heard between halloween and christmas and i heard um i heard this song it's been playing through my head the entire day celebrate good times come on do, 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 do. Da, da, da. there is something that i heard pass the baton pass the baton you have this light team member that wants to pass something to you that is going to bring in celebrations and blessings blessings and this is what they're trying to stop um let me just take a drink oh my gosh mm -mm. so you also have on here a lot of virgo energy a lot of earth energy and fire energy okay there's something here about um trying to isolate a light one from their um from their team okay from their team because i heard astrally do it astrally do it and you've got here oh so you've got here the six do you want me to take these both i heard yeah might as well okay so you've got six of pentacles someone really doesn't like your compassionate nature they do not like how kind you are to others but it's also how stable you are in yourself and why you are able to you know pour into other other people's cups because yours already run us for over but you've also got here the seven of wands they're aware that you're not competing with them and it's just them competing with you and there's all, all almost this like flippant energy coming from this light one like i couldn't give a, i couldn't give an ish i really don't and yet you still have someone trying to push into your energy or into this light one's energy to fight they want to fight they want to continue fighting and there's someone here who's orchestrating this okay someone who's orchestrating this is quite angry that it's not working what else do we need to know about dream state please and thank you that game state. okay so you have here okay okay so a wish fulfillment is coming in for this light one this is why they're so angry and this is why they're trying to block communications with this light one's team through their dream state because you may be someone who gets a lot of downloads or a lot of information or a lot of aha moments through seeing signs and synchronicities or you may just see these people's faces you know um and they don't like this they're trying to block they're trying to block but they're trying to get in there at the same time because here you've got the nine of cups to the three of pentacles okay this is about a wish fulfillment in some sort of expansion coming in okay and with that three of pentacles that's money that's abundance that's blessings in the form of um monetary wealth prosperity um actual dollars in your hand or you know um pound coins in your hand okay and you've also this could be a contract coming in as well because when you look at these two over here they're the ones holding the, the scrolls they're telling this dude how to work okay you've got a blessing coming in and this is really vexing them it's really angering them the thing is though they've read this light one so many times it's almost like when you have you know when you first get a deck of cards and you start learning how to use them so you ask them the same question but you're asking them in slightly different ways you're going to get the same answer and it will get to the point where your ancestors will just make the cards go blah, all over your hands because they're like we've had enough you've asked something you've got the answer and this is the energy that i'm getting over here from whoever it is that is so vexed and so put out that this light one is still getting their blessings no matter what it is that they try to block 
they can't surrender to this they can't give up the ghost and the thing is as well they're jumping through hoops to try and get this done there's something here about them being really emotionally imbalanced okay and i'm getting cancer again i'm getting water signs again now you could be a water sign and it could be that they're trying to affect not only your dream state but the kind of dreams that you have to make them upsetting especially with this being upside down trying to imbalance the way that especially with communication co-creation this can be them also trying to inf infiltrate your dreams to put in that seed of doubt but not only that seed of doubt but worry there's something here about trying to worry a light one things keep popping up on my screen go away okay because you've also got the moon all right they have been trying sneakily for a while to keep this quiet or keep this um what they're doing um in the dark they don't want you seeing who they are they don't like that you see who they are or that you see through the tom fruit foolery that they're sending you okay because it's really disempowering them it's really disempowering them they're on the bottom of the wheel they're on the, bo the bottom of the i know this is not the wheel of fortune this is the world card but for me <coughs> it's the same with the world card when someone's at the top the other one's on the bottom because this is about destiny okay some things are destined and some things aren't and they can't get over the fact that they can't disempower you and they can't change your destiny because i'm hearing that song by justin bieber is it too late now to say sorry because i'm missing more than just your body so you've got someone here who's quite obsessed over you but in a sexual way as well there's so many layers to their their weirdness okay and this sideways unhinged energy because someone here they're they're actually obsessed with the sexual energy that they're trying to send to this light one they also want to see them fail there's something here about a missed opportunity yeah a missed opportunity big time because look you've got the knight of pentacles here and you've also got the temperance card they are realizing that they missed out an opportunity to start anew to get rid of something that was actually not beneficial for them to start anew with someone who's really really balanced and maybe bring in balance for themselves as well as abundance okay this is what they're trying to block also they're trying to block which option should be taken when it comes to bringing in multiple streams of income okay because some people that are watching this may already be seeing that there are multiple streams of income coming in they may be actually experience this, experiencing this already for others it hasn't started just yet but it's about to but there is some sort of windfall that is coming in for every single light one and it's going to come in in different forms but the theme that i keep getting running through my videos is property inher inheritance something in a will a state or a massive just lump sum of money that's coming in and that's irrespective of the other multiple streams of income and there's something here about blocking this because it is linked to the new blueprint that is being activated for this light one okay so you would actually have an either totem a deity you know an, an animal friend on the astral realms that wants to spill the tea on this for you and there is this ambivalent obsession from whoever this person is who feels like they missed out the opportunity to entrap you or to gaslight you or to, to manipulate you into working with them or being in a relationship with them whether that's plutonic or um, romantic but this is more the kind of um what's the word lack of depth kind of relationship booty call okay but with this death card here they are that they are beyond mad that they haven't been able to look at that trap you they haven't been able to trap you and you've got the eight i was going to say the eight of i was going to say the eight of coins because here you have got the king of cups all right there's something here about moving you away from your divine counterpart but that eight of coins coming up when it wasn't even the card there's something here about them wanting to keep you away from that choice of going towards your divine counterpart because that divine counterpart is going to help you to expand your abundance in all senses of abundance well well i never okay what would like to come out yeah so you have an emperor in reverse someone who's very unhinged someone who's very chaotic 
I heard chaos magic at the plenty. Why did I hear chaos magic at the plenty? Why did I get, why did I get the emperor in reverse? Why did I get the emperor in reverse? Let me see. Okay. This person, yeah, this person's trying to keep you and your divine counterpart apart. And you've got to remember that some people are already with their divine counterparts. If you are already with your divine counterpart and you're aware of this, there's something here about a separation spell or getting you guys to sleep in separate rooms or not spend time together. And if you're not with your divine counterpart yet, there's something here about trying to keep you in the dark about who this person is. Okay, yeah. But the, all they're doing is putting the nail into their own backs, putting the swords into their own backs. They've exhausted themselves, in other words, okay? Because for me, I'm surprised that the, the towel card hasn't come out underneath this. I want to check. No. Look at that. So you've got the four of wands underneath. Again, cancer energy. There was something about affecting your fourth house, about your relationships with family, but it's also your relationships with your home. Okay, and bring in arguments into the home. So this could be someone who is on the cusp. Someone's on the cusp of, of Cancer and Leo. All right, but they, they're not giving up. They really don't want to give up. Wow, okay, so this is about property as well. Somebody is own, owed land, or that maybe their divine counterpart actually has a lot of land. And look at that. You put this down over here next to the death card. And you've got five of cups. There you go. I knew it. There you go. You've also got the five of cups to the ten of wands. Someone's walked away from this. Who's walked away from this burden? I heard they did. They walked away from this burden. They may have tried offering some sort of proposal. Why am I hearing proposal? Someone was going to propose. And they won't give up on that. This person is obsessed. They have really weird energy. That's what they were trying to manifest. That's what the plant, the seed they were trying to plant in someone's mind was to move away from whoever they are with or to move in a specific way on the dating scene towards a contract, whether that is etheric or physical, that would bring them into union with the wrong person. Okay, that is mad. That is mad. Yeah, look, 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 look there you go, the hermit upside down. Upside down. This person um, wanted this light one to be in a vulnerable state or at a bar or just out. They wanted them to be out socialising so they could place this burden on them. And the burden is them, okay, to disempower them. There you go. They were trying to bring in that energy. And again, this is about doubting your foundations, doubting your true north, okay, especially when it comes to abundance and where it's coming from. Anything else that wants to come out on this issue, please, and thank you. What stopped them, okay? What has put stopped their tracks? What has stopped their tracks? Because I heard someone pray more. Someone needs to pray more, or someone needs to change their prayer. Now, this one came upside down. Which one would you, which way do you want me to put it? Forwards, okay. Because look, yeah. They were blocked. They were blocked from doing something, okay, or it backfired, because you've got here the Six of Swords, okay, someone is being urged to back away, or this is also, this is someone has walked away from this energy, okay, so this light one, no matter what's being sent towards them, there's something here about, I'm not retaliating because I don't care about you enough to do so, I'm continuing on with my life, I'm just moving on, I'm continuing what I'm doing and putting my best foot forward and also this is the sacral chakra so this is ambition and success I'm going to keep going forward but there's also something about this emperor in reverse backtracking and kind of having to rethink about what they can do to stop a light one okay they can't they literally can't because come on you've got the wheel of fortune and you've got the five of pentacles in reverse Everything that they're doing seems to be, because um, I heard ambitious, they're am ambitious scammers. But everything they seem to be do they seem to be doing seems only to strengthen a light one's resolve. Anything else that have to come out? Okay, yeah. So there is definitely this um, advice for anyone who has presently moved away from someone that is toxic, that is trying to stay in their energy to kind of just 
completely walk away and reject any kind of offer that does come through dream state, through email or person, from an energy that feels off, weird, or imbalanced, or just a little bit too invasive, okay? You look there. Yeah, someone rejected them. Some They may have wanted someone else to work with them, and they got um, rejected, okay? Because you've got the devil energy in reverse. This is the thing. They keep trying to disempower this light one, and it's just not working. Because this light one is too rooted in their foundations. They're too grounded. They're too balanced, okay? And you've got this knight of wands, or not knight of wands, sorry, you've got this king of wands that's coming in here. This energy of doing too much is what I'm getting. Doing too much. Because this death card, there was something that was sent that was supposed to end something for a light one. Because even with this hermit, as much as it's in reverse, it can talk about coming out of your shell and socialising and partying and this and that. It's also to do with over-analyzing because this is Virgo and Virgos are very analytical. They like things in order. Um, with it being in reverse, it's about having chaotic thinking, anxiety, stress. This person has worked so hard. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you can't see that. They've worked so hard at trying to do this to a light one to kind of topple them and topple their faith though bringing in this emotional tower by using either you know cancer pisces or scorpio energy that they've actually put the knives in their own back okay and they've left themselves in doubt interesting anything else that we're about to come out change the deck okay let me get this one out let's have a look yeah they fragmented themselves. Someone here may be having a nervous breakdown or mental health issues, and um, there's no judgment there whatsoever. I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemies. And I do suggest that if that resonates with anybody, that you are seeking the support of, you know, and the advice of a professional mental health worker, because I am not licensed in that. And I do suggest strongly that you take the advice of someone who is professional and who is educated in that before taking my advice okay because you've got mystical and fragmented somebody's completely blocked off somebody is blocked off from someone's dream state they can't get into this person's energy they can't get into this person's energy what else would like to come out please and thank you prayers like i said someone needs to pray more this person may be thinking that if they pray they'll be able to change something they'll be able to find balance and find an end to what it is that they've brought to their back. Now, those are two different messages, okay? The person that needs to pray more, there's something to do with their dreams, okay? There's something about praying over your dreams, whether those are your hopes and wishes, or they're your actual dreams when you go into dream state, okay? Because if I place this over here, there's something here about um, trying to distract someone from protecting themselves before they go to sleep, yeah, look to misdirect them. So make sure that you're, and there's confirmation, make sure that you are speaking your words of affirmation, of prayer, of manifestation, whatever it is that you use when you, you know, walk on your spiritual path to protect yourself before you go to sleep, okay? Because there is something here about trying to block actual um, guidance from your light ones. Now, any other advice that needs to come out before we go? I heard what's happening to them sensitivity because that person's done so much and because they keep trying to invade this light one's energy there's something about them having issues with um lights and sound and um over stimulation but it's more than that there's something here about being they're being this almost like their claircognizance has been heightened to the point that they they can see um they can foresee this win for this light one and it's almost like that is their um, their punishment, is being given visions of this light one succeeding, because look, you've got good luck underneath, of being able to see all these things. So I had my lucky scratch card, seeing all of these things happening to this light one, seeing them getting the property. And there's something about losing a trial. And this person has now either seen this happen or their cards are showing them. And it, I heard... Um, that your ancestors are mocking them, okay? Yeah. They're now being able to, they're, they're able to see in clear vision 
that all of their efforts have been in vain. Have been in vain. Yeah. Complete in, in I heard in vain, as in this person's very vain, but also with that focus upside down. If there was a confusion spell or some sort of doubt or worry that they were trying to send towards a light one, it's been redirected back at them. Oh, through their own dreams. And I'd actually said in a previous video, there's something here about um, them not being able to control or lucid dream or control their astral travels because of them doing so much. And now you have here, look, our own focus, which is in the opposite, complete confusion, murkiness, and um, third eye shut. And then you've got your dreams here. This person's either shut themselves down so they can't dream at all, but when they do dream, they cannot control where they go at all. And that scares them, okay? Now you've got decision and good luck, and it says pendulum and black cat. There's something here about someone needing, um, someone needs either, um, what is it called, black cat oil? Or they need to put some sort of blessing over their pendulum, okay? Or they need some sort of manifestation oil that they rub on their pendulum or Florida water or something like that. And someone else is being asked to bless, because this came up in one of my other videos. Someone needs to bless either their pets or well, they need to bless like the, um, you know, like the little name tag or the collar or the harness or something along those lines. Because, and why am I hearing follow the black cat? Follow the black cat. Okay, so whoever it is that has a dream or has been dreaming of cats, the next time you're, you're going to go to sleep, ask your ancestors or your highest resonance light team members to show you that cat again and ask them to guide you with its you know with its protection to where you need to go on your astral travels or in your dream state and what it is that they need to show you that seems to be very specific for someone okay because you've got here the wheel of fortune and fate upside down and pendulum decision so yeah someone needs to cleanse their actual pendulum because i heard shake off the ghouls so someone might have something attached to it that is giving false reasons or this person over here that's been doing too much has actually got a pendulum that doesn't work anymore illumination yeah someone needs to cleanse their pendulum whether that's that person over there or whether that is you okay because you've got crystals and healing with that pendulum as well if you have a pendulum that's made from a crystal you need to give it a cleanse okay yeah and direction because it's upside down because it's giving um false readings right, i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already knew and look you've got communication upside down yeah it's it's giving false readings i hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already knew um if you're new to my channel and this resonated for you i'd love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content if you are a return subscriber as always i love you thank you for being here thank you for helping my channel grow Without you, I wouldn't be here. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Anyone that would like to have a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box. Please flip down to where you see the blue arrows pointing up. And there is my email. I do see in the comment sections, a lot of people saying, oh, I can't find your, you know, I can't find a way to communicate with you. If you skip the end or the beginning of my videos, you're going to miss out on this information. Um, so, you know, if you want to get in contact with me, you have to hear the end part. All right. Anyone that feels um, moved to leave a donation, it's never expected. But you know what? It's really, really appreciated. It means that I can put more time, love and cards into this lovely, lovely channel. But with that being said, I hope you have an awesome day, morning, afternoon or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll catch you later. Bye.